I'm not worried. This is so hot. Where are we? I think that the scorpion pass. Hey okay, guys, this is what we're suffering. All that we need you to do is hit subscribe to this channel. Hit like, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell. That way, you get notified when we post the videos. Bye, friends. Greeting Bible fans out there. I know you hear stories of judges of ancient Israel like Deborah, Gideon, Othniel, etc. But what about Tola and Cher? I'm pretty sure you are wondering if these are characters in the Bible. Welcome to another Untold Stories of the Bible. And just as the name states, we bring interesting, everyday, relating Bible stories you didn't know ever existed. For our Untold Stories today, we look at the life of some judges of Israel you never heard of before. Stay tuned and don't leave till the end. After Abimelech's death, Tola, the son of Pua and grandson of Dodo, came to free Israel. He was from the tribe of Issachar and lived at Shemir in the hill country of Ephraim. He was Israel's leader for 23 years. Then he died and was buried at Shemir. After Tola came Jer from Gilead. He left Israel for 22 years. He had 30 sons who rode 30 donkeys. They had 30 cities in the land of Gilead, which are still called the villages of Jer. Jer died and was buried at Kimon. Once again, the Israelites sinned against the Lord by worshipping the Baals and the Astartes, as well as the gods of Syria, of Sidon, of Bob, of Ammon, and of Philistia. They abandoned the Lord and stopped worshipping him. So the Lord became angry with the Israelites and let the Philistines and the Ammonites conquer them. For 18 years they oppressed and persecuted all the Israelites who lived in Amorite country east of the Jordan River in Gilead. The Ammonites even crossed the Jordan to fight the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Ephraim. Israel was in great distress. Then the Israelites cried out to the Lord and said, We have sinned against you, for we left you our God and worshipped the Baals. The Lord gave them this answer. The Egyptians, the Amorites, the Ammonites, the Philistines, the Sodians, the Amalekites, and the Mennonites oppressed you in the past, and you cried out to me. Did I not save you from them? But you still loved me and worshipped other gods, so I am not going to rescue you again. Go and cry out to the gods you have chosen. Let them rescue you when you get in trouble. But the people of Israel said to the Lord, We have sinned. Do whatever you like, but please save us today. So they got rid of their foreign gods and worshipped the Lord, and he became troubled over Israel's distress. As it happens, always Israel falls into the same sin, and God has to punish them, and they fall into the same sin again. And that shows why we really needed Jesus for a change of life, right? You could clearly see that because Jesus hadn't come yet, they were under the law, and as the Bible clearly states, the law strengthens the power of sin. God is seen as a merciful God as he grieved by their sins. All right, let's see what happens next. Then the Ammonite army prepared for the battle and camped in Gilead. The people of Israel came together and camped at Mizpah in Gilead. There the people and the leaders of Israelite tribes asked one another, who will lead the fight against the Ammonites? Whoever does will be the leader of everyone in Gilead. So that's a conclusion of our episode today. That's a cliffhanger there. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Is God going to send a judge to flee Israel this time around? Or is he going to use a miraculous means to save them without a judge? See you here on the same channel next week, the same day, at the same time.
do well to subscribe to our channel and as always you can check out some amazing videos from us right now Thank you.